If I had a dollar for every time I got asked this question, I'd be a millionaire three times over. But on a serious note, there is no perfect plenum volume percentage. Um, and, and I'll explain why. There's some calculators out there and I, I find a lot of this is misleading because it really comes down to how we classify the plenum and how much line of sight differential we have, how much throttle biased we have and so on. And, and I'll explain that really quickly. So again, we've built uh, and tested both of these types of planums hundreds of times. So your normal forward facing planum, uh, these will always want more volume than say a tunnel ram. So what I've done here for comparison is both at 7,500 RPM, because again, generally the more RPM, not generally, I guess anyway, the more RPM we add, the more planum volume we generally need. But for, for this example, I'm just going to use, say, 7,500 M. General street engine or general, you know, tough streeter. Something like this, either NA or even boosted, we really want to start at about 120%. And, and, and to, to clarify, your runners aren't part of your planum volume. So we have a couple of elements we have to separate. So this section here is classed as our high speed and the planum itself is low speed and the throttle body may be high speed or medium speed. So it's going through the throttle body, slowing down and then speeding up again. We want to target that planum to be a certain airspeed, depending on how much bias it needs to compensate for. So in a bias planum with a throttle body at the front, we need the airspeed slower than in, say, a tunnel ram. So the tunnel ram we can have, especially with carburetor, because this is another aspect is signal. Like I was talking about the radiuses, not only do the radiuses affect signal, but the planum volume does as well. It's the old rock in the pond. The waves that come off the rock when I drop it in are stronger at the nucleus than as we get out further and further, they dissipate. So the signal gets weaker and weaker. So if we want good signal uh, with carbureted, especially the planum volume is super important. With EFI, not so much, but um, we're looking for good distribution. So with a carburetor, uh, that 60% mark for generally your street stuff seems to be a good sweet spot. And what I tend to work it out on is degrees of rotation to planum exchange rates. 